Hi, this is Ann from shopbakersnook.com and today we're going to be making a bow out of chocolate. Say your client calls and they need a cake decorated like a present and they want to pick it up in like three or four hours. There's no possible way you're going to get a bow done out of fondant in that time. It's just not going to dry. So I can show you a quick and easy bow that you can make out of melted chocolate that you can have done within 10 to 15 minutes, no problem. What I'm going to take here is I have strips of parchment paper. And these I have cut three quarters of an inch by eight inches. But depending on the size or width of your bow you want, you can customize that any way you'd like. I'm going to lay it down here. We're going to make a yellow bow today. So what I have is the Merkins colored wafers in yellow. And I have melted them in the microwave in a Rubbermaid or Tupperware bowl on 50% power. Stir it after a couple, one minute and then check it every 30 seconds and then you get some nice melted chocolate. So what I'm going to do is on this strip of parchment paper, I'm going to put a little bit of this yellow chocolate. And then I'm going to take my spatula. I like to use an offset spatula and I'm going to kind of spread it out. I just want a little bit more. You want a nice thin layer. So I have a nice thin layer on there and I'm going to pick up that strip just like that. I want to run my fingers on the sides so I'll get a nice clean edge. Put the two edges together and lay it on my paper to set. So that's going to give me a bow loop. These are only going to take about 10 minutes to set up at room temperature. You could also stick them in the freezer on a cookie sheet if you need them faster than that. Once they're set up, I'm going to take my parchment paper and I just peel it off just like that. Now I have a chocolate bow loop. Now to put together my bow, I usually make between 15 and 20 of these so I make sure I have enough for a nice full bow and a few extras in case any were to happen to break. So to assemble my bow, I'm going to take some of this melted chocolate, make a nice little disc here. And then I'm going to take my loops and start setting them on that disc of chocolate. And they're not going to set up right away, so I have a little bit of time to kind of move them around and play with them a little bit so I get it to look the way I want. And this is just going to be the first layer of loops. And if like sometimes if you think they're a little bit big and you don't need that much, you can just break that off like that and then you'll have a, a little bit shorter loop. Okay, so I have a first layer. I might want to put one more in there. Okay, so I have the first layer of my bow loops. I like to take a little bit more chocolate and kind of drizzle it on there to kind of set all those in place so that once I pick this bow up, it's all going to stay together nicely. Okay, so now we're going to fill in the rest of the bow. So I'm going to take some more loops. Now for this, what I like to do is just kind of dip the end in the chocolate and set it in there. We're just going to fill this in. Make that one a little bit smaller. And there's no rhyme or reason. You actually just kind of keep filling these in until you have a nice bow. You can always add a little more anywhere you feel like you need it. center and there you have it we have a bow that's ready for our cake and ready for our client to pick up right on time simple easy and I would much rather eat this chocolate bow than a fondant bow any day so please visit us at shopbakersnook.com for more decorating ideas tips and products